Crews are out across central Texas right now preparing low water crossings for potential flooding. But as KXAN's Lauren Landman is finding out today, some crossings near Wimberley are backed up with debris from the 2015 floods in Hayes County. Right, Lauren? Yeah, that's right. Crews were out here all morning in Wimberley clearing debris from this low water crossing. And of course, as you can see right now, the river is running as it should. They tell me that they took at least four large truckloads of debris away. A lot of the trees that were running around the, the Blanco River, a lot of that broke off and it just lingers around the river. Talking with those who live along the river and those who have been clearing out these low water crossings, they say most of the debris is left over from the 2015 flood, both in the river and on the banks. Just so you know where we are, we're just downstream from the large Fisher Store Road bridge that was wiped out in the 2015 flood. So you can understand that when people start to see issues like this, that they could that could make flooding worse, they step in. Seeing this kind of buildup is exactly why many locals push for those living near the river to keep debris away from the water and if it washes onto your property, remove it. If we keep near our uh, bridges and rivers and everything clean, then maybe we can uh, prevent that from happening again. Road crews tell me that they've been doing this at a, new, at a lot of different low water crossings throughout Hayes County, and they think that they'll probably have many more since we have more rain in the forecast. Reporting live in Wimberley, Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Important work, Lauren. Thanks. Taking a look back here, the city of Buda dealt with flooding from debris blockage last year, except their issue was caused by beavers. The city ended up creating a beaver-friendly flow structure to fix the problem. It was a series of pipes that extended through the animals' dams and stopped water from backing up and flooding. We wanted to know if the animals could cause a similar problem in Hayes County after they cleaned up this debris now. Texas Parks and Wildlife saying it did not track the numbers, but according to the iNaturalist, beavers have only been spotted twice this year in that area.